All right, let's get back to that breaking news from overnight out of Prince George's County, where police are looking for the person who stabbed a man to death inside of a home in Bellsville. Now, it happened on Queen Anne Avenue around 9 o'clock last night, but police didn't confirm the man died until just after midnight. Randy Ayala joins us now live from that scene. And Randy, we know county leaders plan to address public safety concerns later this evening. Uh, yeah, Wisdom, I'm going to get into uh, this latest initiative from county leaders to address uh, safety here in Prince George's County. This home behind me, though, uh, the latest scene of violence here in the county. We've been here for the last three and a half hours as police continue to investigate exactly what happened here. Uh, police have not said whether or not they have a suspect in custody, and we don't know all the details surrounding this fatal stabbing. We did see uh, detectives focusing their investigation on this one home going in and out of the home. Uh, police say a man was stabbed here around 9 o'clock last night, and when officers got here, uh, that man was dead inside the home. Police are saying they don't believe this was random right now, detectives working to figure out a motive here. But we have heard from community members and county leaders about the rise in violent crime in the county, and today is kicking off a series of public safety uh, listening sessions. Council members Juanica Fishers and Calvin Hawkins are behind these meetings. Uh, they say they want to hear from residents about their public safety concerns, and they wanted to be able uh, to provide this platform for people to voice their concerns. Uh, so tonight is the first session. It's taking place in Brandywine at the Southern Area Aquatics and Rex Complex. That's from 6 to 730. Uh, registration encouraged, but not required here. Of course, it's free uh, and open to anyone who wants to attend. There will be more sessions planned for this week happening in Hyattsville and Largo. You can find the details on those sessions sessions on our website, WUSA9.com. Uh, here in Beltsville, we did reach out to police this morning to try to get some new information on suspect, on motive, on the person who died here inside this home. We're still waiting for police to answer those calls, but of course, uh, when we get those details, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. For now, that's the latest here in Beltsville. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Randy, thank you very much for that report.